Hello, my name is Alan Chamberlain. I'm a resident in a village near Aberystwyth called Pemparkey. Um, I suppose my, my story is that I'd heard all kinds of stories in the past about Pendina. Some of my older friends claimed there was elephants buried up there and people had told me about all this Celtic stuff and druids and pyramids and wizards and all kinds of crazy things around dragons. But I suppose the oddest thing for me is that I, I originally come from a place where, well, it's from a pit village really, um, in the East Midlands in Derbyshire. And I remember seeing Pendinus the first time and I saw the sort of different levels of this, of this huge hill. And, and to me it looked like what I'd call a slack heap where they brought out all the slack out of the pit and piled it high and there was this thing on on the top it looked like a chimney so that was to vent all the gases and, and to be honest I drove by it for about 25 years thinking yeah there must be pits around Aberystwyth and Kerrydig in just like where I come from but um, it, was, it was years later when I sat down and actually realised it was an Iron Age hill fort or maybe Bronze Age and these different layers were fortifications that people had cut out with antler and stick and that the monument on top was actually a cannon barrel, giant cannon barrel, sort of de um, dedicated to the Battle of Waterloo. So it shows you the way that you understand the world when you look at it through your own eyes based on the way that you understand your landscape and how that changes over time. I, I didn't realise that there was a hill fort um, when, when we moved here 15 years ago. And then when I did realise, I tried to find information about it. Mm. I couldn't find it, and then the first time I really learned something meaningful about this was mm. when you gave a tour, and that mm. was something about seven years ago, Maybe, yeah, and that was yeah. really well, well attended, but I think yeah. the fact that it was so well attended, with lots of families turning up, mm. and mm. people who, some people hadn't even been at Pendinas, even though they lived locally, and it was because people were curious, but knew hardly anything about it. So. Mm. There is that thing, we talked to Finneros children six or seven years ago, you know, and hands up who's been up Pendinus. It's about half or three quarters of the children have been up there. So that, and you know, uh, you, you guys know the situation better than I do, I think. Yeah. So, yeah. My, my perspective on it is quite skewed, actually. I think it's, but it is replicated across the UK. Whereas if you're in a working class area, it's perceived as having little culture. Mm. And, it's, and if you've not got any culture, then you're not important, particularly in the way the class system and stuff works in the UK. So poor and more working class areas are predominantly seen as having no culture and no input into the arts and all that kind of stuff, which is absolute rubbish. So, so when, when, you, when first I think we sat down in a community first office, which you had some stuff at community first, Rich, yeah. and it ended up being the forum when communities first um, kind of projects got finished by the Welsh Government, we sat there and said, what assets are there in Pemparkey? And somebody said, what about Pendinus? And it was like, that's huge, isn't it? So we got out the, the village boundary map or ward map and it was like, oh, a big lump of Tanabalk Beach is in Pemparkey and Pendinus is in Pemparkey and the old toll gate, which is now in St Fagans, is in Pemparkey. But where are all these things represented in the place that we live? So how are they badged up as Pemparkey? And, and they're not, are they? Hmm. They're kind of, your culture is kind of stripped away from you and then put in other places, so it stops becoming Ben Park, and it's more uh, Pendinus in Dubbid, Pendinus in Aberystwyth, Pendinus, or the Southgate in St Fagans. But, but when you get in touch with people and say, can you put Ben Park in there? You either don't get a response, and yeah, things don't go terribly well when you start to engage with people about it. Yeah, so like, like I said earlier on, um, I'm really interested in sort of tying this project in with potential project we've got um, coming up, so as my interest is in health and well-being, I'm really um, you know looking into sort of establishing some sort of project that's going to assess the well-being of the area, uh, link it in with Pendinus, and hopefully have some like Pendinus walks, walks to Tanabol, walks to the seaside, things like that, and then obviously assess well-being over a certain period of time to see if that's actually benefited um, the overall project idea.